Hey guys, this is Max Headspace 9mm and this I think is going to be one of the most exciting impactful videos that I've ever done for you. Due to the coronavirus and the ammo being absolutely crazy expensive, I have not been doing much shooting. Uh, I think you're probably in the same boat. We're not shooting as much as we used to. So how do you practice? Well, sometimes life gives you something called serendipity. That's where something you didn't expect to happen happened and it turned out to be a good thing. But you couldn't necessarily orchestrated that yourself if you tried. Well, that's what this is. So because of the ammo shortage, I wanted to practice. I'm just not okay with letting my skills get rusty. So what I did, I was actually given uh, for Christmas by my son a home practice setup and I gave it a try and I absolutely love it. So this costs very, very little. You can do it in the convenience of your own home regardless of the weather or any of those other things. It doesn't dirty up your gun and it allows you to focus on the fundamentals which are vitally important to good form. And this is a training secret that many, many competitive shooters use. You wonder how in the world could those guys get that good? Well, they actually have some secrets. Rather than uh, blowing a thousand rounds every single day of their life year round, which would be incredibly expensive, most of the competitive shooters that I have talked to will reveal that they do a lot of dry fire practice in their own homes. Probably more dry fire shots than live fire shots. And here's how you do it. So you can get these. These are little laser cartridges. So these are not actual bullets. This one is 45. This one is nine millimeter. And what these do, they have a little rubber button on the back. So if you hold the button down, it stays on. But because your striker or your firing pin only hits it for a moment, they, um, they light up for just a very, very short, brief second when you, when you shoot your gun. As a result, when you draw and fire, you can see where the bullet would be, just like making a hole on a paper target. So this can replace live fire practice for almost everything. Most of us don't even realize how bad our flinch affects accuracy. But when you start doing this right away, you'll notice immediately when you fire, you're jerking down on the gun. This corrects that. I did, I don't know, thousands and thousands of rounds of dry fire practice with these. And the first time I went out and actually fought live, shot live fire, I was shocked at how much better I was. I was shocked at how I unlearned all of my bad habits. My trigger press was better and more controlled. I stayed on target and my follow-up shots were much better. And I was shooting more intuitively without actually thinking about what I was doing. My gun would find the target naturally. Even if I wasn't really looking at it that carefully, my body knows how to aim the gun now. And this can happen for you too. So these things cost uh, anywhere from 29 to 50 dollars and they make them for all different calibers one thing that's kind of cool if you're a revolver shooter the bad thing is you've got to get one for each of the different chambers in your wheel gun the good news is you can just fire 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 without ever racking the slide like i'm going to have to do here to demonstrate what this is so um, we're going to start out i got my holster rig on my battle belt Make sure you don't have any magazines with ammo anywhere in the room, okay? Follow safe practices. If you keep your magazines with ammo, check the chamber with your finger. Make sure there's nothing in there before you load the cartridge in the chamber of your gun. And then you can push on that button and make sure that it's in there. As long as this is in the chamber of your gun, you cannot have a live round in your gun, so you're safe. 
Just be very cognizant of what you're doing. It's absolutely not dangerous at all. So, you don't have a magazine in the gun. That's one clue. And you can do magazine drills with this too, but that's probably for another video. I'm just gonna show you the basics right now. So you can practice uh, quick draw, and then you can You can take and rack the slide rapidly and re-fire. Or you can just do singles, you can do double taps, anything you want. But you are going to have to manually rack the slide in between each shot. But you could do it really quickly and easily. Now, you could get the whole family involved. This is where it gets really fun. You can have somebody training with you, and you can either try to beat each other to the draw. If you have a shot timer that gives you a beep, that's kind of nice, or an independent person that says go, and you see who goes first. Or you could have another person in the room say, head, heart, head, heart, and then mix it up. So you don't know where you're supposed to shoot. So you go when they say, and then you have to go to the part of the target on a silhouette target uh, where you don't know until they say what it is that you're supposed to do. So it's a lot of fun. It's a ton of fun. Now to get this thing out, because it's not going to come out by itself, I use a pencil. Use the rubber eraser of a pencil. Uh, the rubber eraser is not going to damage anything, and the beautiful thing about it is this little uh, metal thing that holds the eraser on, that's aluminum. It's not going to hurt your barrel at all. So I've got this gun that I built. This is one that I made out of parts. And um, it's kind of a race gun. It's not finished yet because I'm gonna build a tower and I'm gonna mount a red dot right up here. Um, that's the way the very, very best race guns are built. And the reason, you know, most, most guns have the, the red dot on the slide, but the advantage of putting it on a tower is that it does not reciprocate with the slide. And that way it's even more stable and your follow-up shots are a little bit more accurate. And not only that, but you have um, a greater choice of red dots you can, you can choose to put on your gun because you don't have to stick with the tiny little ones. You can go with bigger ones that way. So this gun has this interesting little mechanism right here because this is not a concealed carry gun or a defensive gun. This is a fun gun. And I carry it in an outside the waistband holster. Now you'll notice something interesting here. See if you can pick this up. There are no sights at all on this gun. That is because I designed it for this red dot. There's no sight cuts. This is a blank slide. It has the internals milled out, but it otherwise is just a blank slide. And you can get them that way from Lone Wolf. Put all the parts in it that you want. So I know I made this for a red dot, but I decided to start an endeavor, and this is for another video, but when you're defensive shooting, defending your life, plan to be terrified. Plan that most of the training that you have done will go out the window because you will not be able to close one eye. You will not be able to look down your sights. You're gonna be threat focused. And that threat, which is attacking you doing whatever, is all that you're gonna be able to see. You're not gonna see your gun at all. And so by having a gun that doesn't even have sights, or if you have a gun and you want to tape over the sights so you can't even see them, you can practice point shooting, which is basically intuitive shooting where you're focused on the target and not on the sights at all. You're totally focused on the target, which is the more natural way of shooting if you're in a defensive situation. You will not be able to see anything but that threat. That's the natural primal way that we deal with threats. So um, I've got my carry gun. I'm gonna take off my battle belt here and you can practice doing your um, concealed carry drills. You know, wear clothes like you normally do and uh, practice 
with your concealed carry holster in its normal place and you can do draws. Do it over and over again. And it's just a lot of fun. There's no limit to the fun you can have with this. It is amazing how you can put in hundreds and hundreds of cycles of dry fire practice in just a very short period of time. And your skills will get so good, you won't even really need to be that focused anymore on what you're doing. You'll just automatically have that muscle memory and do all your manipulations without any problem. You can do magazine drills. You can get really creative with this and come up with all kinds of ways of making this fun for your whole family. They'll want to get involved when they see what you're doing. Oh, I want to try it. And they'll, they'll do a little bit too. So it takes some of the intimidation away from shooting. You don't have the loud bang, you don't have the recoil, the gun trying to jump out of your hands. You can really isolate what it is that you're doing and focus on your grip. You got so many cycles that you're doing over and over again. Everything becomes, everything becomes second nature really quick. And you can focus on what really matters without the slight amount of focus that you have on safety and, and other things. And when you go to the range, you will have to make a mental adjustment. This is live fire. This is actual ammo in the gun. But if you practice safe manipulations and all the rules apply, don't point it at people and, and all of that, this is a great, great technique. And I strongly encourage you to consider it because I don't think ammo is gonna get cheap anytime real soon. And we might be in this for a while. And it is vitally important that you remember this. If there's one thing in this video that you remember, it is this that I'm gonna tell you right now. You are the weapon. These guns, they're just tools. You are the weapon. You are the one that pulls that trigger and it is your skill and your, prepared, <clears throat> your preparedness that makes the difference when you go to defend your life if you should ever have to do that. Because crooks and bad guys don't wait until you're ready. They're not very considerate that way. You want to be prepared for the worst day of your life. And you need to be prepared in a way that is automatic, intuitive, and second nature. And this is a great way to get that. This is Max Headspace 9mm. Have a good one.